Once I started to use gizmos, they really revolutionized and changed the way I've taught certain topics. For the first time, I saw kids really engaged and really being able to interact with the content. The default for them when they begin to work with the gizmo is, this is interesting, I want to know more about this. If you used right, it can lead into project-based learning, which leads to a deeper understanding, which leads to more engagement, and you win. Gizmos are online simulations that really help students make sense of uh, challenging math and science concepts uh, through inquiry and exploration. They can manipulate variables, they can do what-if investigations, uh, so that's a whole new dimension to what you can do in the classroom compared to uh, reading a textbook or watching a video, for example. They have complete control over the manipulative and they're so comfortable with the technology. As soon as they see it, they want to move stuff around and they want to figure out how it works. Simulations take events that could happen over days, weeks, months, sometimes even years, and bring it into a few minutes. If we did labs for two weeks straight, we would barely be able to cover everything that's in that gizmo. So as I click play here, what's going on in this image? I am really a strong proponent of, of gizmos, both for math as well as for science, because I have seen firsthand what it does in terms of problem solving and critical thinking. The more trials you do, the more it looks like you're theoretical. Yeah, the more it looks like you're theoretical. When we had them do the gizmo, we were able to see their conversation change from how do I do this to what's the relationship and this change drives this change. I think the workers are around in, yeah, in this really general good. area. They were able to really look at the connections that they were seeing within the gizmo. You should have put the girl a little further up. There's a conversation that's happening. So there's communication skills that are being further enhanced in mathematics and scientific language is being developed. You need to be able to absorb as many calories as possible so you can go the long period of time. One of the great things about gizmos is they're modular. They work really well with just about any curriculum. So all 400 plus gizmos are correlated to the latest day standards and hundreds of textbooks. 90% of our standards are covered with gizmos, so it makes those concepts very easy for our teachers and they can apply those when they are teaching those particular standards. So if you need a chemistry gizmo on matter, then you can go in and you can search it easily by that performance expectation. You can search it by topic by grade level, and there it is. And using gizmos, they master more of the standards more quickly than they do without. I guarantee that. And you know, the exploration guides that go along with the gizmo ask the kinds of questions that make the students think. Teachers don't have to spend inordinate amounts of time trying to figure out how to use these tools. Gizmos have made it um, a whole lot easier to plan out a lesson and get to a certain standard. We say here that it is slow and right around here it got real fast. Why do you think that's happening? Explore Learning's professional development department partners with districts to identify their needs and then create a program to move them toward their goals. Explore Learning has been a thought partner as we've moved to more inquiry-based, student-centered classroom strategies. The services we've received from Explore Learning have just been outstanding. It's been very seamless. When students are more engaged in science or math, and when students are more engaged using the Gizbo's product, um, their scores are higher. So although we can't say it's causation, um, we do know that there is a correlation. Now we see children really looking at the content at a much deeper level, which is what we want. And I, I won't go back to teaching it the other way, ever, because it's, it's just, it's night and day.